I mean, I've been complaining about the mass standards since I've got on this board, and this is perhaps the first time that I've actually seen the department address the concerns. So I thank you for what you're doing. Um, I think there's a lot of issues with respect to mass standards K through through uh, through 12. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the the, uh, the lack of preparation of our teachers to teach to change over to a conceptual math instruction modality. I think it's leaving a lot of children behind. Um, I think we can't fix math fast enough. And while these things in high, high school are important, you can't miss out on the fact that we constantly receive criticisms from parents um, across the board about early math. And um, so I don't want to lose sight of that. I want to get this fixed as quickly as possible as long as we can do it with, within some de degree of fidelity. Uh, but when are we going to address the other end of the math spectrum? The K-8 timeline, the exact process begins in September. So we will run an application process this summer um, to bring teachers, IHE partners, and district leaders together. It's a data review committee. We'll run the same process, and I believe you have that timeline in the presentation. We're going to do the fourth maths at the same time. And along those lines, I think I previously asked, and I'm sure that you, you're, you're addressing it somewhere, and maybe you can help me point out. You mentioned that the Standards Review Commission's report contributed to some of what you said. Um, I recognize that the Standards Review Commission was split with respect to the math recommendations. And it's important for me to know what part of the report are you supporting, what part of the report that you're not supporting, and why. So we can have a full understanding to those people who, are, who worked on the commission, those people who looked at the commission for guidance, as to whether or not we're taking direction from them. I don't mind disagreeing with them, but I want us to be able to tell why we disagree with them. And more importantly, because of everything being split on the math recommendations, and I've heard all kinds of different reasons why, why I got there, it's just odd to me that we're in the middle of revising math when we haven't talked anything about ELA. And we're going to have some of the same discussions with people, what are you doing with these reports? So I just want us to be consistent when we're doing uh, something that relates to the standards commission that we identify what we're doing and not doing. Yeah. Uh, and it, 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 it's just for me. If, you know, if it's okay. important for everybody else, that's fine. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Curtis, I think it would be really important to explain about one of the considerations for with the academic standards was to adopt Minnesota standards. So would you share with them uh, the analysis that was done to make that comparison? Sure. Um, while the commission was underway, we attended those meetings mm -hmm. and actually Dr. Scheich invited me to some of the committee meetings for math to be there as a resource. So I had a pretty good understanding as the commission went through their process of where they were going and we tried to help them quite a bit. He kept, the committee kept coming back to the Minnesota standards. So we conducted an analysis. Um, Jen didn't, but this great staff behind me did a very thorough analysis at looking at Minnesota standards and how they match or don't match with the standards that North Carolina had adopted. In doing that, we became very familiar with Minnesota standards. Um, they are much more skill-based, where it's more of a checklist, so some of the conceptual understanding might be lost that teachers have worked very hard to do. But I will say that we did get some ideas from them. And so just going through that process, we were able to see with maybe, I think it was one um, statistic standard, a clearer version that was considered by our writing team. So we have mapped those standards one-to-one, -one, both from the North Carolina direction to Minnesota and from Minnesota out to our standards, and would be happy to make those available. Can I add one, one thing? Thank you, Mr. Collins, for that question. I think from a researcher standpoint, what was important for these data review teams to do is to look at all of the data and triangulate the data. So I'm not sure we would be able to say we reject this or we accept this. It's more of looking at it as a holistic set of data from educators around each individual standard and what their um, thoughts were around that, around the focus groups, and then around the Academic Stand Standards Review Commission's work, and then putting all that together to triangulate what changes needed to be made. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. 
this may not be what uh, Mr. Collins was asking, but it was very evident to me that the staff was already collecting information from the field for both ELA and, and all the math during the time the commission was meeting that whole time. And, and, and you did share with the commission what you were finding. So when did the actual review uh, for revision, I guess, <coughs> when did it start? Uh, we started in 2014. Yes, we started in 2014 with teacher surveys followed by focus groups in all eight regions. Um, the beginning of 15, we conducted a parent community survey. Uh, the spring of 15, we did a leader survey. So, uh, I'm sorry, a leader focus group. So it was ongoing. Um, we made the decision to hit pause to allow the review commission to carefully work through what they had been charged to do by our legislature. So it was very important to us that we work with them, not against them. It became a very political process, um, but the math people in the world still tried to work behind the scenes <laughs> and look at the mathematics to determine, you know, what is the data telling us? So our revision process, to answer your question, actually was on pause during the time the ASRC met. Once we had that final report in January, we began to recruit and assemble for our data review committee, which started in February of 16. Mr. Good. Just uh, pushing in the weeds. I'm actually, uh, unless I missed something, I'm, this was posted yesterday, so we're all had a little catch up. Uh, and, uh, and so the, the, but a lot of the process, and I do respect the process, uh, Menu for, but I'm even catching up on what the process was, as others are. Uh, my question in that, the one, there was a, a lot of folks, uh, a lot of different entities mentioned focus groups and teachers and parents, and the review commission, uh, math leaders. I'm sure it's there. Tell me about the business. The business they were part of the, the community surveys. Um, I w I'm glad you asked that question because I failed to mention something very important. I got your text. At our, <laughs> at our last meeting, as well as previous meetings, um, Chamber of Commerce, the State Chamber, sent representatives to observe the process. We also were fortunate to have our PTA State President come in and talk to the group and observe the process as well. Um, a biz she is with us today. Ms. Kelly Langston is here. Um, and also, we asked for some business representation to come in and talk to the writing groups um, about what are they looking for. Um, we were actually visited by Jeff Franklin, the Vice President for Human Resources of Perlater in the Triad area. He also serves on the Triad Economic Development Commission. So we were very lucky to have him come in and talk about what he needs as a business person coming right from the high school pipeline or from a community and technical college, or from a four-year college or university. And that was extremely helpful to this group. Thank you. Any other questions or feedback on the work so far? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Curtis. And thanks to all your data review writing team. Thanks to the teachers <laughs> and the on this. And so I guess we'll continue to gather feedback. So any other comments you have, please get into our team, and then we'll revisit this in June. Yes, and there will be posted to our homepage tonight the standard drafts as well as a public comment survey.